In today's guide, you will learn how to transfer Word document file from an iPhone to someone's email address. So how to send document as attachment. Whether the document file is already existing in your iPhone and you want to send it to someone or you created the document using the Word Mobile on your iPhone, this guide puts you through. So let's get into it. The first method we are going to use here is to create the document in our iPhone. Okay. Before that, we need to install Word Mobile. So open your App Store, tap this search, and then search for Word. All right. Okay, you can see the Word Mobile is already installed on my iPhone, but in your own case, it may not be installed. So install it and then open it. All right. So on my phone home screen, this is the Word. So I'll tap on it for it to open. Then now we tap on this plus sign at the bottom center. Then let's work with blank documents. So I will click on this. As it opens, I will then compose my message. Okay, let's assume I'm done with all I want to have in this document, okay? That this is a full page of the document, all right? So the next step I need to take here is to save this document first in this my phone. So I'll tap on the three dots at the top right. Then I'll click on save. Now it gives me option on the locations I want to store this Word document. So let me go with on my iPhone option. Why I'm going with this is so that this document will be saved locally on this device. So I'll click on the name section and then give this a name of my choice. So let me call it report. As the name is typed, the next step is click on save. Okay, this document is now saved in my iPhone as report. All right. So now let's share this to email. As an attachment to someone all right so what you need to do is to tap on this share icon which is this arrow that points up at the top right then you can see this here it says upload and here it says send a copy all right so i'll go with the option send a copy okay so this gives me some options okay so here are some applications I can share this file with, but our interest here is to use Gmail. So I'll tap on Gmail. This automatically opens the Gmail account. All right. So the Gmail account that is connected to your um, Gmail app will be open automatically. Okay. So in the two section, type the email address of the person you are sending this document file to. So let me send to customer base 2019. Okay. Okay, now that I'm done typing the email address of the person I'm sending this file to, in this subject area, type there and give this um, document a subject. In the compose section, you can click on that spot and explain the content of the email you're sending, okay? And the message reads, this is the requested report. Please go through it. Now that you are done setting up everything you want to have before we send this document, then tap on this send icon, which is at the top right. You can see done. What it means is that this message has been sent to the person immediately. Okay, so I'll click on done here and then I will close this document. The method number two is on the assumption that you transfer the file from your laptop or somebody sent it to your phone. And now you want to send it to someone's email. So the first step is install this Gmail application on your phone. Okay. So make sure that Gmail is installed on your iPhone and also sign in with your Gmail account. Okay. So after that, tap on the Gmail app for it to open. So here we want to send the document that's already available in our iPhone as attachment. All right. So the next step is click on compose. See the compose here. So I'll click on that. 
In the to section, type the email address of the person you want to send the email to, all right? So customer base is who I'm going to send it, okay? All right, as I have typed the um, email address here, I'll give it a, a subject, okay? So I will call it sales report. In the compose section, it can say a few things. Okay, now it's time for us to attach the document file because it's already existing in our iPhone. So tap on the attach icon, which is at the top, okay, towards the right. As you click on the attach, just swipe up a little, okay, by these options given to us here, all right? So you can see this folder icon, tap on that folder icon so that we can have access to the files in our phone, all right? So we have three categories here, photos, attachments, and drive so this drive is one drive that is installed on this iphone all right so the google drive that is installed on this iphone i don't want to go with that option so our interest is to get it to our phone and then attach the document file that is already existing on our phone so under attachments tap on this folder icon okay so that's the first option under attachments okay this automatically opens the my files section of my iphone all right so let's now get to the document that is being saved in our iphone okay let's assume that this um first this title here as say ch1 is the attach file is the file we want to attach the document file we want to attach tap on it as it is selected tap on the open option at the top right okay you can see that here now this file is now attached to this email okay so we are going to send this file to customer's base, all right? So I will click on this send icon. And now the file is being sent to customer's base, all right? So these are the two options. It's either you create the document file using the mobile app first and then send as attachment, share as attachment. Or first, you have the document already existing or saved on your iPhone. Then you open your Gmail account, Gmail application if you don't have it already you install it and open it and sign in once you sign in attach the document file and then send to the recipient is that simple i hope you find this guide helpful please if it does help consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button here we on this channel we teach more of technology so learn as much as you can because many things in our world of today revolve around technology Leave a comment as well and hit that like button for this video to go viral. You can buy me a coffee to support this channel if you have the money to do so. To learn about how to share another type of file, consider watching this video. See you next time.